Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a minute, but I'm back and I'm better. No, I'm just playing, but for real though. So I wanted to do a little story, like a positivity story, like a video and talk about my pregnancy and how it was crazy when I had my babies or my babies. So I don't know if a lot of you guys know or not, but I had my first, I'm 19 right now. I had my first baby at 14, which I'm not promoting it. Don't do it don't don't try to get pregnant on purpose don't don't do it if you're of age do what you gotta do but don't do it as a kid please don't do it because if i could have waited i would have definitely waited but sorry for the yelling in the back <laughs> but anyways i'm in here because i'm trying to get away from the yelling but so anyways um at 14 having my baby it was crazy because you gotta understand i didn't have a license I didn't have a car. I got a car at 15, but I couldn't drive it. So I'm like, what the heck? But anyways, so yeah. So if you can wait, do it because you got to make sure you have the right support system. You have to make sure you can do it on your own. If you don't have a support system, you should make sure that you're with the father still, which is kind of rare because a lot of guys do not stay with the, the mother of their child, but some do. So you just got to try to find a lucky one. Um, also, so I want to tell a story about like how, when I found out I was pregnant, um, so I was 14 and I would have, was friends with this one girl and I was having really weird feeling in my breasts and my stomach aches and stuff like that. So I went to immediate care and they were like, okay, well, we're going to do, um, this test, this test. And they did a pregnancy test on me and they came back in and they asked my mom to leave the room with my friend. And they were like, listen, you're pregnant. Um, I know you're only 14, so well, do you want to tell your mom or do you want me to tell your mom? And I'm close to my mom. I have like a relationship like this with my mom. So I was able to tell my mom straight up like I'm pregnant. At first she went crazy. You're getting an abortion. I'm not doing this. You're too young, da da da. And on the way home, she was perfectly fine. Oh, we got to find out if it's a girl or a boy, da da da. She's that type of grandma. Which, don't come at my mom because she was happy about me being pregnant. She just knew that I didn't want to get an abortion. And she knew I would be a good mother, obviously, because look at me. But yeah, so, um, found out I was pregnant. I told my boyfriend. We were going through a lot of things at that time because we were like on and off and stuff like that. He ended up being there with me. We broke up a couple times during the pregnancy, but he was with me in the end. And um, when I had my first daughter, he was there with me and helped me with everything. And he was a great dad. Come here, close the door. He's been a great dad. Now we have two kids and he's 20, I'm 19. Um, but yeah, we have, um, we've been together for almost five years if you don't count the breakup and stuff like that. But yeah, we've been together a while. And we're doing good. I had um it's okay. I had my um I had my second baby at seventeen and he was eighteen. So yeah, here tell her to, well go ahead, step down. I don't know, she wants to bring it in. So yeah, it's it was pretty crazy at first, but then it kinda got better than that, you know what I mean? It was it was crazy though. It was really crazy. Especially like I said, not being able to have I didn't have a job, I didn't have really a car, I couldn't drive, couldn't take my kids to their appointment, couldn't really do anything. But I'm gonna switch rooms. Okay, right, sorry, I had to switch rooms because the baby came in there and she wants to play with my mom. <laughs> That's how good of a relationship they have. Um, so yeah, basically, yeah, it was pretty crazy having a baby that young and then having a second baby before I turned even 18, which was even crazier to me too. Um, but honestly, my kids, were the biggest blessing of my life because before I had my first daughter at 14, um, everything was insane. Like my life was crazy. Hold on, baby. My life was crazy. Like I was going through a lot of stuff. So I was going down the wrong path. I didn't know what to do. And once I got pregnant, everything stopped. Like I was inside every single day. I didn't do anything. You hear the baby, she wants me. <laughs> This is the only time I can get away from my kids is if my mom's around me. <laughs> and sometimes moms need that time where they're like, oh. But yeah, so I've been a stay-at-home mom for since I had my first baby. And it's been really good. I've been happy. Me and my man been good. We've been up and down through a lot of things, but we've been trying to push through it. And about positivity. Um, I've been saying this a lot of my TikTok videos if you guys watch it, but 
the main thing you can do is stay positive through whatever you're going through. If you have a baby at a young age, a grown age, whatever happens, stay positive because that's the only thing that's going to keep you going. Because if you're not positive and if you're not thinking straightforward that you're going to be able to do something, it's not going to happen. Don't ever down yourself and don't ever let people down you because I lost a lot of friends when I had my first daughter. Um, my family was very supportive. That's I'm so thankful for that. I'm blessed for that, actually. My aunt helps me a lot. My mom has always helped me through everything like I will do for my kids. Um, my man's mom helps out when she can. We have so much support, and that's why I'm saying do not have a baby young. Do not have a baby young unless you are ready for it. Because, you see this? <laughs> I can't even get two seconds by myself, but it's okay because I enjoy it. But anyways, yeah, so do not have a baby young unless you are ready, please. I don't want to sound like a hypocrite for telling you guys not to do something that I did, but if I could have went a different route, here, don't touch baby. If I could have went a different route, I would have went a different route because at the end of the day, having a baby is insane, literally. Hold on, baby. Having a baby is insane, like literally, like... You guys don't understand. It's not just all fun and games where you just change diapers. No, 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 stop. Come on, we're going to go out there. Um, You don't just change diapers. Sorry, guys. This is my baby. went a little crazy. She wants to touch the toothbrushes and stuff, but I don't want her to touch it because that's other people's toothbrushes. But, um, so, yeah. So, what I was saying is that um, having a baby is definitely not just, oh, let me change the baby's diaper. Um, Let me give the baby a bottle. Let me put the baby to sleep. It is not like that. And I'm only telling you guys this because I know I have a lot of young followers and subscribers. So, yeah. Um, oh, I almost fell. Um, pregnancy at a young age is, it's amazing. Just like pregnancy at a grown age. You go through so much and it's amazing. But if you are not ready, don't do it, guys. Do not do it. Please don't do it. I'm doing it. I'm telling you this for your sake because kids are not, you have so much life to live. Kids are not fun and games. Kids are great. They're amazing. They're blessings, but at the right time. Like I said, I, I would have waited if I could have waited, but it's over what had happened, and I'm blessed. And whoever on here has um, kids as a young mother, you're blessed as well. Grown woman, you're blessed. Everybody's blessed, you know what I mean? So it's like, as long as you guys stay positive, like I said, you'll get through whatever you need to get through. But, um, yeah, wait if you can. That's all I can say. But other than that, um, don't let people block your blessings. Don't let people tell you what to do. If you feel like something's good for you, do it. Go with your gut and your heart. Don't go with what people tell you to do because who cares what the people tell you to do? Who cares? Whatever you feel like is best for you, do it. And also do not tell people what you're going to do before you do it because a lot of people hate on you and they want to put you down. And they want to make sure that that doesn't happen or that you don't do better than them. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little story and my little preach and whatever else. But, yeah, so I love you guys and thank you for subscribing. And I hope I have you on TikTok so you guys could see me. And, yeah.